Ciao, benvenuti a Bologna. We're currently on Via Marsala, one of the many beautiful streets in Bologna, and the one that just so happens to be home to the Dickinson Center. So here we are the inside of the Dickinson Center where all of the magic happens. This is where we spend a lot of our time for classes, but also just to hang out, spend time with each other. Yeah, why Bologna? That's a good question. I had always wanted to go to Italy. I wanted to learn a new language, so I started you know, learning Italian. The Bologna program was something I looked at when I was in high school. Definitely was something I wanted coming into school. I definitely wanted to play volleyball at a collegiate level, but I also wanted to study abroad. And Dickinson was really the only school that let me have both of those opportunities. So one of the things that I was looking for was a program where I could study political science classes and that they would be Dickinson professors. So I came to Bologna um, first and foremost because I'm a INBM major. So being able to be in a different country and really understand the intricacies of how business works and supply chain is something that really interests me. I am an international studies major and I'm pursuing a food studies certificate as well. So here I've been able to take courses that count for electives for both of those. I'm a music major and opera was, that's what I study, I study opera and opera was born in Italy. There are actually two programs here, the European Studies program and the Italian Studies program. The Italian Studies program focuses on language acquisition, cultural immersion. European Studies program focuses on social sciences, history, politics, art. The Italian Studies program offers students the possibility to experience the culture of Bologna firsthand. The Dickinson Italian Studies department really promotes the learning of Italian, making it a part of your everyday life, especially doing it in Bologna, which is not as touristy, let's say. There's not as many American study abroad programs, so you are challenged to speak pretty much only in Italian when you're out and about. My Italian wasn't that great when I left for Italy originally, and I struggled with languages a lot. That was always kind of like one of the hardest things for me. But coming to Italy made it a completely different experience. I lost my fear of speaking the language, and I gained an entire new insight into not only being comfortable with it, but actually learning how to speak it like an authentic Italian. <laughs> I live in an apartment with seven girls. It's six of us from Dickinson, and then we have an Italian resident. She is there to help us practice our Italian. Throw it up a little bit more. Yeah, like that. We offer a program where students get to do volunteering work. Bologna is one of the best cities in Italy for civic engagement and civic organizations. We took a class on social activism in Italy, and part of that was you had to volunteer at a certain organization, and I volunteer to teach in an economics class at a high school. So classes here are very personal, which is great. We have a very small class size. You're working very closely with teachers and staff. And because we're in such a great area culturally, we get to do a lot of excursions outside the classroom. While I'm enrolled here, I take a political science class. I take history classes. I'm taking an art history class. There are also classes available at the University of Bologna, as well as the Johns Hopkins School for Advanced International Studies, a graduate program. So for me what that means is that I'm able to take a course in public sector economics with a professor who has connections to Dickinson. Being here in Bologna, you're really immersed in the culture and like every aspect of it. It's a small city, but still you get the feeling of being in a city, not in a small town. There aren't a ton of tourists, and I think because of that we really get an immersive experience. It has its quaint places with people, you know, outside reading books and playing instruments. And then you walk in the main square and there are just thousands of people walking around. So you have this great juxtaposition of quiet and city-like environments. It's almost like walking through history. You have all these buildings that are centuries old. It's almost like you're living in a, a museum in itself. Definitely the culture, like the way of life is so different. The food is amazing too. They really care about the, the tradition. I think it's <laughs> So studying abroad is really an experience that then transcends the academic experience of learning about what Italy is all about, learning the culture, learning the history and the literature, and learning the language. It's about measuring oneself and how we cope with something different and something different than what we've experienced all our life back in the States. To live just in a, in a completely foreign culture and be able to adapt and try new things and learn a different language and be able to communicate with more and more people is just really incredible. 